guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ashley and this is Six Lipsticks. So today we're just doing just a makeup tutorial. I feel like I haven't done one in a while and I kind of want to do a full face. Anyway, so I've been getting like a bunch of new makeup. So much that like I just have so much new stuff to try and I was like, you know what? I should just try all of it on camera with you guys. So that's what we're going to do today. So yeah, I am a blank canvas right now. I'm feeling a little insecure and I have like some redness going on because I was like tweezing my unibrow. Also, those of you, actually all of you. So if you're thinking my teeth look different, it's because they are different. Two weeks ago, I started in Invisalign, and I was like, I'm gonna have straight teeth, this is gonna be awesome, like, all the celebrities do it, and they make it look so simple. Well, it has been a major adjustment between, like, talking differently, like, learning how to talk again, and that's been, like, a nightmare at work, because I'm kind of self-conscious about it. I can't chew gum, I have to brush my teeth if I eat anything, so, like, no snacking between meals, because I'm too lazy to be like, oh, like, I had a piece of chocolate, time to go brush my teeth. So anyways, I have little white chunks like on my teeth, like they stick into the Invisalign tray and like, and they help like shift my teeth, like they lock onto my tooth that way. So yeah, I don't know if you can see them, but you'll probably see them when I zoom you guys in for this tutorial. Anyways, wow, holy moly, that was a long intro. Um, one more thing, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and for those of you that are already subscribed, thanks for hanging out with me today. Also, if you like makeup tutorials, give this a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first product we're going to start for this full face tutorial is the Hourglass I Know Bougie. It came in my BoxyCharm this month. It is called the Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. So I... I'm prone to using the Anastasia Dip Brow, but we are gonna try this bad boy out. I really do not know why I tried to pop blackheads before filming with a naked face. So I'm just kind of making an outline of my brow right now. It's kind of what I do and then I fill it in. This is definitely more subtle of a brown, not so dark brown, like my Dip brow from Anastasia. It's a little more difficult to make like an actual like defining line. I feel like with a brush it's a lot easier to make an outline, but this like I can't really, it's not as easy to see. There's skin showing right there, I'm trying to cover it up and it's like kind of hard. Ugh. I don't understand why that will not fill in. Look, I'm going over you. Why are you staying skin colored? So I went a little crazy. Like you'll always find me with a Q-tip and some makeup remover when I'm working on my eyebrows. It happens very often. This brow pencil definitely gives the illusion of more like natural brows, not as sculpted. Okay guys, so that brow is done. You can see the difference. One brow's done and one is not. Dude, the color saturation in my camera is like crazy. Like right now I feel like this red spot between my brows looks horrendous on camera. But whatever. We have to accept our imperfections. Okay guys, so the brows are done and I definitely feel like they look like more like natural maybe than my normal looks, but I actually feel like it looks like really nice. Um, it is a little more tricky to work with if you're used to using an eyebrow brush. But yeah, overall, I like it. I think it's probably one of my favorite pencils I've used because I usually just don't like pencils, but this one was pretty good because it's very precise. The next product we'll be using is the Cover FX Mattifying and Acne Primer. Usually I use like a pore minimizing primer. But right now, like, my skin has been, like, pretty oily because, like, it has been, like, so freaking hot in Pennsylvania, like, freaking 90 degree weather, and I'm, like, dying. And, like, by the end of the day, like, my makeup looks, like, so freaking oily. Like, on my lunch break, like, between work, I have to, like, touch it up with those, um, like, oil-absorbing little sheets of paper. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. So this is not a new product. I didn't have any new primers I needed to try. And also guys, if you're wondering, I usually put my primer on first and then do my brows to give it time to like absorb into my skin before I go straight into like my concealer. But I'm always like so out of sorts when I'm filming. Like I'm just like, is everything in place? Like, 
The next product is the Dermacol Makeup Cover Concealer. I actually buy this on Amazon. You can see like this guy's like almost empty. I need to stock up on my concealer. Obviously, this is again not another new product, but I did not have any con new concealer that I need to use. So I'm basically just going to touch up like all my red spots, like from where I was like trying to pop some blackheads earlier. And then, unfortunately, I deal with this like scarring all the time on like mostly this side of my face. It's not weird like to only break out on like one side of your face. Like this one still has some scarring, but it's not nearly as bad as this side of my face. But you know what? Oh well. So guys, how have you been holding up this summer with all the COVID restrictions? I've been a little put out lately because I just feel like the summer is going by so fast and I really just don't like the cold weather being stuck indoors all the time. And I just feel like before we know it, it's going to be over and I feel like I haven't done that much. I've had basically a yard sale and I bought a new puppy and that's basically it at this point. We did have to cancel a trip to Jamaica in March and we have that rescheduled for November. But um, I think we're going to do a water park in August and then um, and then maybe like a camping trip in September. And there's just like a lot of house projects too that I wanted to get done. <laughs> so the next product we're using is something I've been really looking forward to. It is the Hello Happy Airstick Foundation by Benefit Cosmetics. In a previous video, I had mentioned about how like I love the Benefit Play Stick so much whenever they had it, but they discontinued it. I was super bummed, but they came out with this new stick foundation, so I'm very hopeful. What I love about stick foundations, you just like draw a line, draw a line, and just like you're not constantly like putting product on a beauty blender, you know, buffing it in. It just you throw the product all over your face and then you buff it out. I feel like it's a faster process. So I'm just going to roll all over my face and then we're gonna blend a -roo. oh guys this is not full coverage at all like it literally barely looks like I put foundation on and some of you that have your perfect little skin and small pores this might be okay for you but it's not okay for me I'm going to zoom you guys in and just so you can see like I still have like a lot of like imperfections that are showing and you know sometimes I like some of my imperfections to show because I like to look more natural not so like caked up but you know for today's video I had envisioned something a little more cakey so let's start over <laughs> let's try this with a brush so I'm going to reline my face and kind of go like a little heavier where my scarring is and then we're going to use a brush and see if that works better. Using a brush, in case you guys did not know, allows the coverage to go on a little thicker because it's not being absorbed in a sponge. Oh, guys. I don't know if it's just the lighting right now, but oh, I'm like feeling really self-conscious about my scarring. Usually it's like not so freaking noticeable. Such is life, my child. So my husband, bless his heart, is getting us groceries right now so that I can film. It's not so freaking sweet, but I'm probably going to have to pause this video whenever he gets home to help him unload the groceries. That's always a team effort, no matter who goes to the store. Okay, so next subject of conversation. Have you guys heard the new Taylor Swift album that was released? I'm a pretty... Not, I wouldn't say a huge fan, but like I'm definitely kind of, I'm definitely feeling the vibes of this album. Like it seems like it's more her old style and I felt like her Lover album was just kind of okay. I felt like my major problem with it, which the lyrics just seemed really basic and like empty, superficial, I don't know. But in my past, like I've always been like a huge fan of Taylor's. So whenever she releases any album, I always get super pumped up for it. Like, I loved her Reputation album. I thought that was really, like, fun. But, yeah, um, the lyrics were, like, really sweet in this one. I really liked it. Some of the music, to some people, might be a little boring because some of it does sound all the same. But there definitely are a few songs in there that sound, like, very, like, country-esque. Like, the one song, Betty. 
Which, speaking of Betty, I'm surprised that Taylor dropped the F-bomb in the chorus of that song. I am choosing to download the clean version. I really also like The One and Cardigan. And there's another one, something about a string, an invisible string I think it's called. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of the album, if you've listened to it yet, if you're even a Taylor fan. Okay guys, so I put on like a layer of this Playstick foundation. I can't say I'm a fan, I'm probably going to be taking it back, but that just gives us another opportunity to find a better stick foundation. I'm actually going to take my concealer and put some over top of that scarring instead of taking the Playstick foundation over top. Because I just feel like it's not doing much. So it's a little lighter than the stick foundation. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Self-love. <laughs> okay guys, so I just think we need to accept the fact that this is what we're dealing with right now. I mean, a full face of new makeup is always risky. We're not sure if we're going to like the products or not. So the next is some more concealer, but this is specifically for my under eye area. It's not like to cover up blemishes. And I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just heard Jeff walk in with the groceries. I need to go help him with that after I put on my concealer. Also, this is not a new product either. If you guys have any suggestions for like some under eye concealer, I'm all ears because I've kind of been jumping between different products not knowing like which one I even like best. Like I feel like maybe like a few hours into my work shift every day, like I start to get like lines like from my wrinkles under my eyes. And I just feel like I like just a thicker, just brightening formula. Okay, so that is on. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go help unload the groceries. Okay, guys, so I'm a little worried that all of this creamy makeup products are like sitting into my wrinkles and pores right now since I haven't finished it off with a finishing powder. So next thing, this is actually pretty exciting. It's the Milk Makeup Glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. So it's like a liquid blush and I am not one that normally uses liquid blush because I usually just do a finishing powder over my foundation I do like the powder highlighter contour blush stuff like that so this is definitely gonna be new so I guess I'm going to just like tap it let's see so I always smile and see like where the balls of my cheeks are balls <laughs> Blend that in with like the bottom side of my blender. Did I show you guys a close up of this? There's how it looks like. There's the top. <laughs> the top looks all like covered in foundation now. So can you guys tell a difference? So on in my mirror, I can definitely like see like a rosiness to my cheeks. I definitely prefer powder though, but I still don't mind this product. Okay, so now we're ready to go in with the finishing powder, and I'm actually using this new Kenya... Oof, I have no idea how to pronounce the last name. Ontiveros Beauty. It came in my premium BoxyCharm box, and when you open it up, it has a setting powder, a highlighter, finishing powder, bronzer, contour. So I'm going to take um, the white powder that just says mattify and I'm going to place that all over my face. Actually, first I'm going to take, sorry, the yellow powder It says set and I'm going to set my under eyes right now. Okay, and I'm going to take this big boy brush and now I'm going to dip into that white powder that's called mattify and just go over my whole face. Yeah, I definitely like this powder. It's pretty nice. I do not like my face looking like oily at all. I know some of the makeup artists don't mind that like glistening look. Like I know Jaclyn Hill is like really into like an all over dewy glowy look. But for the most part I kind of like my face to look matte. And also because I, because I do have that scarring on my cheek too, whenever I have more like a glowy dewy look it kind of like 
shows off your imperfections a little more than if everything's kind of like a one tone like matte vibe. Next we're going to go in with a contour shade, the lighter contour shade on the end. And normally I would do my contour first before my blush. But the fact that the blush was a cream base, I had to do that before. Pretty nice shade of contour. Um, I do wish it blended a little better, but it's not bad. And I usually go like ham on my freaking forehead because I'm, I feel like my forehead is a little bigger than I would like it to be. So yeah guys, this um, base palette is definitely a success in my opinion. I feel like the setting, mattifying powder, contour powder were all really great, so yeah. So the next product I'm a little nervous about using, um, this came in a BoxyCharm from maybe like April. It's pretty old and I haven't even touched it yet because it's not something I would like to wear every single day because it could be like pretty crazy. So it is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter and it is like legit like gold. So yeah. So yeah, let's see how this goes on. I'm pretty nervous right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is something. If I had a little bit of a deeper skin tone, I think it would work a little better. So I do feel like it blends really nicely and just the gold is just like really pretty. But just it really stands out on my skin almost like a little awkwardly. I don't know if this is something you put on your nose, but we're going for it. Okay. Yeah, that? Nope. Why did I do that? Okay guys, so most of our face is done, but we get to move on to the exciting part, which is our eyes. So I'm actually going to use the Pure Festival 2.0 palette that I received my BoxyCharm this month. I decided to choose this one because the colors look really pretty. There, that's a little better so the light's not hitting it. I am probably going to go for like this, this, and this, kind of work these three. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. And then also I have another Fenty product. It's kind of like this purplish highlighter. So I'm going to try to incorporate that because that's a new product as well. And also a Kat Von D Inkwell liner in this like burgundy shade. So this is gonna be definitely a weird eye look for me, but hopefully it's good. We're gonna do false lashes today too. So first I'm gonna prime my lids with this Anastasia primer. I'm gonna zoom you guys in since we're specifically doing eyes now. It is gonna be kind of hard to work with this palette because I feel like there's so many like glitters in here that like I can't really create like a full look with a glitter. So this is gonna be interesting. I think I'm gonna take photo off as my transition shade and just see how this goes. Me and Pure Cosmetics, we have an interesting past. <laughs> Usually I don't end up liking their products and normally when I find out that BoxyCharm is sending out some Pure Cosmetics, I tend to not get too excited about it, but I do have a Pure Barbie palette that I love. So, And this transition shade is actually blending out really nice. So next we're just going to go in for the kill and do this purple fantasy world. I'm taking more of like a tapered blending brush so we can focus that more like right in the crease. Okay, this actually isn't too bad. I was like expecting like major pigment and looking like a clown right now, but this is actually a good shade. I know a lot of people would complain that they would want something to be more pigmented, but I feel like this makes it a lot easier to work with. And that's blending like really nice with that transition shade. Ooh, look at that guys. That's so freaking pretty. I'm pleased. I've heard like a lot of YouTubers that create their own beauty company like talk about like how difficult purples are to make. So I feel like the fact that this is going on so well is like pretty impressive. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a fun glittery palette, I, as of right now, I would recommend this. Every time I raise my eyebrows, you can see my wrinkles. So we're gonna take a break from the purple and do some more like this turquoise color and then like some black on the edges because I feel like I've been doing like a lot of pinks and purples lately and I kind of want to do something like a little more like different smoky. I don't know how it's going to turn out though because these are not blendable shades or like pressed glitters so 
we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Utopia as this glitter shade on my lid. See how well this picks up on a brush. I might have to use my fingers. Actually, it's going on pretty nicely, guys. So I'm gonna really like focus out on the center of my lid and kind of like also have it phase out on the sides and really like catch that color like right in the center. Because as you blend out, you can't really see the color as much. But I want you to see it like right in the center of the lid. Okay, that is freaking pretty. And it's such a gorgeous shade too. And I just feel like that color also just like goes really well with like the pink. And it's nice too that this brush is actually picking up this product. I would rather not have to use my fingers if I don't have to. So if that pressed glitter went on that well, I'm excited to try this black pressed glitter that I'm gonna put like in the corners. This is definitely gonna be like a fun different look for me. So yeah, this black right here. Black is a little more difficult to blend out, but let's give it some time, try to work with it here. I am getting a little bit of fallout. I'll work that a little into the turquoise. Then I'm gonna flip the brush and get a little more of that turquoise glitter and kind of pop it over the black as well to kind of blend it all together, make a smooth transition. So that is what we have so far. So I'm going to take that purple shade again and just barely dip a blending brush in it and kind of like work that into the glitter. Hopefully I don't like brush the glitter off. But I just want to have more of a smooth transition there because I feel like it looks a little wonky. Well. It might just have to stay like that. It is what it is. I think it still looks good. Guys, I totally forgot that we have that Fenty like purple highlighter thing to use. So let's try popping that in the corner of our eyes. For me, it feels like pretty dry. Okay, I'm just gonna try. <laughs> this is probably such a bad idea. Just roll it on the center. Okay, I'm gonna have to dip my finger in here too because it is like of a specific location that I can't put a big like stick in. Okay, I think we're definitely achieving a festival look, that's for sure. Ooh, so I actually got that like below my eye, but I actually feel like that looks kind of cool. I may regret that, we'll see. At this point in my life, my contacts are like so moved around and blurry, like I can barely see the camera right now. Last item we're gonna mess around with the shadow is we're gonna take that purple shade and use it on our lower lash line to kind of complete this look. Whenever I learned to like put shadow on my lower lid, like it was like a eureka moment. Like I just feel like it really completes a look. Okay, so that is the finished eyeshadow look minus the lashes and the liner. You can see I have a little bit of fallout there as well. Okay guys, so the next part of this look is doing the eyeliner and I am using this Inkwell liner by Kat Von D. It is a burgundy shade and I usually tend to just stick to black as far as eyeliner goes, but since we are trying new products, I thought we'd try this new shade. So I'm not sure, so I'm gonna do like a winged liner on the top and depending on how this looks on the eye, I might do like white on my lower lid, black, I'm not sure, or even like this. So we'll see. The precision on this little guy is amazing. Like I might have to go to Kat Von D to get all my freaking liquid eyeliners. This thing is like really easy to use. So that lid is done. I think I'll probably use black on my lower lid. Okay guys, so I think I've reached the point where I'm getting hot and bothered because so I did the black liner on my lower lids and it would just like, just, it was too much. So I took it off. It took me about 10 Q-tips dipped in makeup remover, but it's gone. We're on to another tedious task of putting on false lashes. So these are by J-Cat and I did try another J-Cat lash like a week or two ago and it was a little difficult to put on. I feel like these lashes, like the actual band is a little more thicker. Does it kind of like mold to your like eyelid as easily? 
and I mean I'm not gonna complain because I got these on a really good deal from Ulta they were only just like two or three dollars so these are kind of like let me show you close up these are a tapered lash and I do feel like my eyeshadow looks a bit wild right now so I'm hoping when I add these on it's just gonna pull the whole look together um, if you catch me putting these on on camera that's great but if not sorry about your luck because I'm not gonna try to make sure I capture this perfectly I'm just gonna try to make sure I put on the lash perfectly. I am using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Um, this is the highest rated lash adhesive on Amazon. So letting the glue set for a while makes it a lot easier to put on, I have learned. And flipping your mirror so it's like this, so you're looking up at your lashes helps. So, okay guys, here goes nothing. These are actually a pretty good size. shut up just shut up that was way too freaking easy okay guys so the lashes are on and i definitely do feel like this helped kind of like put the look together it's exciting when i put on false lashes because it's such a rare occurrence so i'm going to pop on some mascara on the bottom lids by lily lashes i got this from boxycharm last month and i really love this mascara so the final thing we have for today's look is our lips so for our lips i was planning on doing this new flesh beauty lipstick but as you can see like that's not gonna work with this look at all i like the idea that it was like different packaging and like a different formula where you actually dip your fingers and apply it to your lips but i'm gonna have to try that another time because it's just not gonna look well with this so i'm gonna do instead the vice liquid lipstick by urban decay it's like this purple glittery shade and i thought it would work well since we're doing purples and glitter hopefully it's not too much. This whole looks too much. It's okay. Formula seems kind of dry. Yeah, this is definitely really dry. Like I feel like I dip it back in the container and it's like not pulling any formula. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. So yeah, I definitely think this feels very festival vibes um it's a little cakey to me but it's fun at the same time so products that i feel like stood out to me in this new makeup tutorial i definitely like the brow pencil a lot i feel like i could use that um just on my day-to-day -day, like running errands like if i want to actually look like legit and really good i'd still use a dip brow by anastasia but i feel like this is a good like running out the door eyebrow pencil to use um, I'm pretty impressed with the lashes. I feel like they went on a lot better and I didn't even have to like cut them off to like size them up to my eye. The eyeshadow palette by Pure Cosmetics, the Festival 2.0, I really like too with the glitter. Um, the purple like Fenty Beauty Stick, the glitter, I just kind of felt like was okay. Um, this liquid lipstick, I'm literally trashing it after this video because it's so dry and it feels so awful on my lips too foundation the stick foundation i'm gonna be taking that back because i just feel like i do like full coverage with my foundation just because of the acne scarring it just gives me more confidence whenever like everything is just like really like fine-tuned and airbrushed and just looks really good so but yeah i definitely had so much fun just playing around with these new makeup products they've been sitting on my vanity forever i've been wanting to play with them for a while all right guys well thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening i've had a lot of fun i hope you guys have a great week and stay safe i'll talk to my next video bye